1970s New York and history is about to be made. In an epic act of trolling, Martin Cooper, an engineer from Motorola, rings a rival from a cell phone to say they've been beaten to the first wireless call. I said, uh, Joel, this is Marty Cooper. He said, hi, Marty. Joel, I'm talking to, uh, to you on a handheld cell phone. The first mobile phones were the size of a brick weighed five kilos and only had 35 minutes of battery life. As the technology advanced, so did the features. Phone users from the late 90s may well remember Nokia's addictive game Snake. Then colour screens were added and camera phones emerged in the early 2000s before smartphones brought everything together in one place. But at what cost? People with smartphones uh, uh, look at them too much. I have to tell you, I am devastated when I see somebody crossing the street and looking at their cell phone. Uh, and that's a very common occurrence and they are out of their minds. We've certainly come a long way since the hardwired phones of the past. Research shows that the number of us using landlines continues to fall. But do people think that mobiles are a help or a social hindrance? I think mobile phones, they're good for safety, you know, where your children are, but I don't think it helps their development and imagination. I think they're a wonderful force for good. I can't imagine what the world will be like now without them. It's a pity a bit that people just keep looking at it uh, full time. Also me, I have to say. 50 years on and the mobile phone is here to stay. But emerging new technologies such as artificial intelligence could change our devices and how we use them beyond all recognition. Over with Filmiercic, TRT World, London.